Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betanba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your helper has located you, and your helper is coming to where you are. Hallelujah. Your helper has located you, and your helper is coming to where you are. Now, I want to start by saying, every great man is a helped man. I say it again. Every great man is a helped man. Every man that you begin to see, every man that you... You admire every man who is on top, every man who is at the top, every man that we are seeing them as our heroes, our role models, they have been helped. And that is one thing you must understand. Nobody rises up to power without being helped. Nobody gets to a higher place without being helped. Every great man you see is a helped man. Now, when God wants to bless a man, he sends another man. Now, if I'm talking about man, you must understand I'm talking about male and female, all right? So it's not like I'm talking as in man, as in man, all right? I'm talking male and female. You must understand one thing, that God would always pass through a man to bless a man. God who use, always use somebody to bless you. If you're expecting to pray and say, God sent me help, and all of a sudden, everything just appears in front of you. Of course, if things should appear in front of you, you're going to have to run, right? Hmm. I would have to run. I don't know about you. I would be like, okay, so what is happening right now? So what God does is when we pray, God gives us wisdom and God gives us, brings us opportunities before us. And how you get your opportunities, how you go about your opportunities, your opportunities depends on if God is going to give you more or if God is going to trust you with more. There are so many people who have taken covenant and say, God, if you trust me with this, I'm going to do this. And they never did as per the covenant. Now, I want to tell you something. Always learn to fulfill every covenant you tell God. If you tell the Lord you're going to sow a seed, if he does something for you, make sure you sow that seed. You're going to give an offering. You're going to pay your tithe. You're going to help somebody. You're going to do this. Always make sure that you do it. Why am I saying so? God would always keep it on record. He's the God who would fulfill his own part of the bargain and comes to help you fulfill your own bird. How God blesses us is our motives. What is your motive for what you want? What is the reason for what you want? That is how we receive blessings from God. So if you want God to bless you, there is one thing you must do and there is one thing you must be very active about. Your motives. What are my motives? Why is the reason? What is the reason you want the finances? What is the reason you want to get married? What is the reason you want to get the visa? What is the reason you want to get the company? It must always be about the finances. That is one thing you must understand and you must get it so straight and direct. So one thing about God is he will bless you regardless. Right? Sometimes you are the person that is responsible to manage the blessings. So when God wants to bless somebody, he will use somebody to either give you an idea or to help you financially or to give you a recommendation or to put you in a place. Man would always be helped by man. How does man receive help from man? God always touches the hearts of human beings. He's going to be like, go to this place and help this, my child, my daughter, my son. He's going to put your name in the hearts of people to help you. There are days I wake up and 
I will not have rest until I help some people or I help somebody. And I've noticed that there are so many scammers because people have noticed that I always help people. So it's very difficult when somebody sends me an email for help. Most of these people, some of them, sorry, are scammers. So that is why somebody might send me an email and I sit quiet because I it's difficult. It's difficult. A lot of people are scammers and they want to always take advantage of you. I see a lot of people, some of them do catch up requests. You're going to keep doing the request and waste your time because I'm not even the one managing the app. So if you do it, there's no way I can accept and there's no way the person can accept. So you keep wasting your time over nothing and all that. Now, you have been praying, you have been waiting, you have been trusting the Lord. Your help is coming to where you are. Now, how is the help going to come? Somebody will find you and help you. Somebody will recommend you. I can be in Dubai and then all of a sudden I receive a news or on my phone or I receive a message that says go to this place and apply for this. Go to this place and go and do this. It means my help has met me where I am. There are people who you have to be very sensitive lest your help come and you are not there. Lest the call for help is coming and you cannot pick that call. Maybe you put your phone somewhere only when that particular call is coming. It's a whole lot that is going on with people and it's not easy with so many people. But I want to say this. You must be sensitive when your helper is coming to contact you, when your helper is coming to meet you. There are people who have bypassed the helpers. I learned of a story of, of, of somebody um, who was on the train going for a job interview in Dubai, met with the boss, did not know it was the boss, had a query with the boss, on the, uh, with the boss like the manager on that train and did not know only for this person to discover that they were going to the same office and this was the manager and lost the job even before anything could start. You know you're answering those questions for the interview, but you know you'll never be granted a job. I pray may you not miss your helper. May you be sensitive. May you not miss your helper. May you be sensitive in Jesus' name. Amen. If I'm speaking to you, please type it on the comment section. Put your hand on your chest. Say, may I not miss my helper. Say it again. May I not miss my helper. May I not miss my helper. In Jesus' mighty name. May you not miss your helper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please do not forget to like, share, and please do not forget to subscribe. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining and being a part of this amazing session. I see a lot of people sharing. God bless you. I pray for you. May God honor your heart desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do not forget to pray for me. Keep me in prayers as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Thank you so much for your care, your sacrifices, your love. I'm grateful. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to hear and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you. I do. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I'll see you in our next prayer session and prophetic. Shalom.